Hi, Bill Bob from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to look at how to properly make use of Polygon HDRs to light a scene in Blender. Before we get started though, let's take a look at the file we'll be using. It's this one, uh, Outdoor Residential Riverwalk Afternoon Clear 001, which is a, a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> I already have that saved and available for use, and I'll include the link to it below the video. Okay, let's head over to Blender. Okay, so this is the uh, scene we'll be using as an example. It's a relatively basic model um, with no materials or anything like that applied. It's just a, in fact, I'll just turn on rendering for a second. And we'll see it's just a, a, a clay material at the moment. So let's jump over to shading and I'll go back to rendered view and jump to the camera. Good. Now I've already loaded up the world settings here. You can access those by clicking the little drop down here because by default it's on object. But jump over to world and you'll see a background and world output. Now, if I click on the background um, and then press Control T, these three nodes here. Um, it will only do that though if you've got the Node Wrangler add-on installed. I've covered that in previous uh, videos, but in case you've jumped straight to this one to do that, go to Preferences, go to Add-ons, uh, and type in Node Wrangler. And you can see it's uh, it's available there. And just make sure it's enabled. But yes, with it enabled, with background clicked, press Control T, and then you'll get these nodes. From here, we can load in our environment texture. So let's hit Open, and then navigate to wherever it is you keep your HDRs. In my case, they are there. <laughs> and then we'll load up the uh, residential Riverwalk one, and take a look at what we've got inside. Now I've got a bunch of different uh, HDRs here. Now what I'm going to do is load in this relatively low resolution 2K HDR. And straight away we can see that it is, uh, it's lighting our scene, it's doing it quite nicely. I'm just going to click on this button for a moment to turn off the overlay so we're just getting the render. And then what I can do to position the HDR how I want uh, is to rotate via this mapping node. Now what I think I would like is the shadows to be coming in from about that direction. Something like that. Good. Now we have a couple of issues. Uh, first of all, I don't know if you can uh, tell from the video quality here, but I certainly can see it on my screen, that the background is too low resolution to use as a, a backdrop that we can actually look at. It doesn't look very good. Um, it's perfect for lighting, a uh, nice low file size, the lighting quality is good, um, but the the, as a background image it won't do. Also the background that we've got at the moment doesn't really fit the scene. We've got this weird building in the background and which doesn't really tie in scale wise with our building. It just, it, yeah, it's, it's not suitable. So what I'll do is scroll out a little bit and duplicate this background node. I'm going to press shift A to add in a mix shader and connect up the new background node. And then I'm going to go to input and then light path. And I'll just dump that above the others. And I'll feed in this is camera ray into there. So now, as far as everything else is concerned, all the lighting and reflections and all of that, um, it's using that original HDR, but the camera is using whatever's in this second slot of the mix shader, which is just a great color. So with that one selected, I'm going to drag it down a little bit, hit Control T again, and it will give us those three nodes. Excellent. And then if I hit on Open, I can go to the uh, recent bit here, if it will let me. <laughs> there we go. And bring up that folder again. Now, as you can see, we've actually got a 16K JPEG. Now, you can't use a JPEG for lighting. Um, it just doesn't contain the right amount of, of information, the right... Uh, color depth, um, but it's perfectly fine for a backdrop, and we've got a nice 16k one here. So I'm going to load that in, like so, and then that will provide a high resolution background without affecting the lighting in our scene. The lighting still being done by the low resolution EXR. Good. Now what I can do, because I've got a separate mapping node for it, is rotate that around to find a background that I like. Now, first of all, I'll get it quite close to how it was, which is about there. Because um, we don't want it to vary too much. Um, what I would like, though, is to pretty much just try and get sky. Maybe a slight tree in the background will be fine. 
because in the finished scene I'm sure I'd add in some more trees and stuff like that uh, but yeah I think that will that will do nicely so in summary we've downloaded a HDR from polygon.com used a low resolution EXR to light our scene uh, and then use a high resolution JPEG to provide the backdrop